everyone and welcome back to Tracy's allotment and vlog so I haven't done an allotment vlog for a while so I thought I'd give you um, a plot to it so today we've got Reuben with us and it's his birthday and Oscar's somewhere on the plot um, and Carl's streaming there's Oscar he's laid down um, so yeah so I just I do um, a plot to it just to show you um, what little is going on at the plot to be honest and I think it's built up of a multitude of things so this year we've had a really really busy year and um, so yeah it started off all right we'll plant and things like that but then we bought the van we did the camper van conversion and um, which is still sort of work in progress we've had a lot of dodgy weather with the rain the storms um, and we've had a hell of a lot of slug damage as well to contend with um, so usually I have loads of pumpkins and lots of stuff like that so when the fruit's um, sort of finishing off but this year I've got hardly anything um, and I think it's just the end of, <laughs> of our growing season to be fair um, so I'll just give spin you around and I'll give you um, a little tour so this is me um, pumpkin patch which is pathetic in comparison to previous years and I do have one or two it's like two little pumpkin things in there um, and I'm not sure what variety these are these could be a gourd or they could be a pumpkin I think they're going to be a gourd um, well I don't know um, because it's in label so I've got one or two plants here seem to be doing all right ish now in here um, this is ripped this is new netting but it's uh, ripped but I'll use it as a bit of a you can see there they've hearted up lovely some of these cabbages in there but the only thing is the slugs there's quite a lot but I think if you take a couple of them layers off I think underneath them will be all right so my cabbages they seem to be hearting up okay in there I'll have to sort sort that the hole out otherwise there's no point in it being netted and um, so over here I've just got like a little uh, red currant bush. We didn't get anything off that this year because I just planted that in. That's a little apple tree here. Golden delicious, I think. Don't expect anything off that for a while yet. And that was um, a rhubarb in there as well. So this is my plum tree. And I do have a lot of plums on, but some of them's getting um, a bit damaged and not really that great some of them but some of them's all right um so i'm hoping to get some before the birds i tried to net it over but it's quite a big tree so unfortunately i was a bit unsuccessful with that that's my apple tree there and um, that i grew from seed which is doing absolutely amazing again i don't expect any fruit from that i've got some ribes in the bottom They've been in, I think this is their second year, and I did get a handful off each um, bush. So next year, hopefully, we get more of them. This is my conference pear. Now, it never seems to do very well at all um, in this spot. So that will be, if I can't dig it out, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid because it's just taking up space. It's not producing anything, and it's just not happy where it's at. So we're going to try and dig that out um, later on in the year. And this is my strawberry bed. Now, I have had a lot um, of fruit out of this allotment this year. And I actually sorted my, um, I actually sorted my freezer out. And I've got, uh, I think it was about eight or nine bags. And in each bag, I put two pound in because the two pound mix does the um, jam mix that I do. Or it does like certain amount of crumbles. Um, in that mix that's why I bag it up in that in that quantity so I can see that there's a few um, strawberries in here so I'll spin a look there's a one here but the chances are it's probably slug damaged see because I'm getting up either too late um, to pick them so the slug damage but I am going to take that because my dad's got some chicks um, at his allotment some hens um, some chicks so I'm going to take them for them because I, I used to just chuck them on the grass and just get the let the birds eat them but uh, like I say my dad's got some and look so it's either mice or 
black slugs or whatever so I am losing quite a lot of my strawberries by not being up three every day or every other day um, to be honest so let's have a look so in this bed here I've got some leeks in there and I've got some beetroot in there now my beetroot um, everything got eaten so this is literally my third sowing of beetroot so I don't know whether we're actually going to even get any but we might get some baby beets by the end of August and I've got some more over there and these are my spring onions in here um, that I've got grown we've had quite a few pickings of them so far that's my rhubarb we won't be picking any more of that this year my black currants they're finished I've got another onion bed here and they're doing quite well to be honest in there so they're bulbing up nicely they're my shallots so I've got some quite a few shallots on the go there and they're looking really nice now we didn't do very many red onions this year because we never had well we're hardly ever successful with red onions but look at these so I think this top spot here was a good choice this year these are doing amazing and like I say we we never ever I mean the odd one yeah we've pulled a few and we've had some but I'm over the moon with them because we never hardly get any onions uh, there me gooseberries, these are red ones, again I've had all of them, they're finished and um, that's me second lot of beetroot, it was sown at the same time as the other one so again I might get some baby beets off this so this bed here is another onion bed so I've got some of them funny looking cauliflowers they go in like a diamond shape um, and they're like bumpy I don't know what you call them but anyway I've got some of them and I've got some January Kings and I'm over the moon with how they're doing so far and these are my other onions in this bed and I'm over the moon with how they're doing so far as well so they're looking absolutely fantastic and I've got a little story to tell about them which I'll tell in a bit about my little onion bed now these pumpkins, there's two squash here and these were set off and kept in the greenhouse and planted a little bit later than the ones that I showed you in the beginning of the video and they are absolutely thriving and then I've got a row of French beans which I'll show you now and these French beans here, they've just came out of nowhere literally, honestly, they weren't here last week I'm pretty sure so I'm going to pick some of these and I'm going to ask my mum, my mum does a dinner every Sunday um, so I'm going to ask my mum if she wants some picking for the dinner so there'll be a few um, beans to harvest over the coming weeks and my courgette, this is one, I planted seven plants and every one got absolutely decimated and look at that, I've got a courgette so just shows the patience and perseverance pays off eh? so but yeah, so another quick look at the onions from this side. The brassica cage, I'm a bit disappointed with that this year to be honest. Um, not really doing much. The red cabbages aren't just heartening up but we've got nothing else going. So I've just said to Carl, just leave them in, just see what they do. Um, but the red cabbages are an absolute disaster this year. So in here, in this bed... I've got leeks and they seem to be doing okay because last year we got a lot of rust and um, we went to seed, every one went to seed and we've got a few more onions in there and this is the first year that I've actually managed to grow swede and that's thanks to Jimmy at Plus 41 for telling us a variety that um, tends to work I've never ever ever grown a swede as big as this or as big as what these have grown now so I'm absolutely over the moon I mean there's a, a couple there what you know are like really small and that's how they normally stay but um these are just doing fantastic I'm just over the moon with how they're doing and then at the end here I've got an odd few 
of the beans, the green beans, so there'll be a few of them to pick off as well. So the pea pods on this side um, are very, very nearly finished. I wasn't keen on the Hendrick snow peas. They were quite dry and not as sweet. Um, so I just suppose it's personal preference. So I'm just on picking some of the aldermans. Um, so I think I'll stick with them ones um, going forward, to be honest. I know it's nice to try different varieties, but you don't know until you try. So I'm just going to stick with them. So yes, these are the, um, the pea pods. And Reuben loves the pea pod to chew on and Oscar eats the peas. <laughs> so the one thing I'll probably do different about this next year, again, I should have put more time and effort in to make sure that these are climbing properly um, and stuff like that. And I probably would have got a lot more crops from them. I've got some more peas around this side here. And they haven't grown as tall. They were set off later than them and planted later than them others. Um, but they're still producing quite a few pea pods. So I'll be picking them. I'll just work my way around. So I'll be picking them as well. So that's the wildlife area with a pond. We do have frogs, toads, um, from, you name it, it's in that pond. Um, so Carl's just strimmed all that, you can probably hear him in the background. That's my cherry tree, we didn't get anything on that this year. We did get a little bit of blossom, but we didn't get any cherries unfortunately. So I'm hoping next year that we do get some cherries and they're just some random sort of bushes in there that we've planted and, and set off. Now I have got um, my F1 Brussels and they're doing fabulous in there so we should have some Brussels sprouts for Christmas dinner. Some of the leaves are getting a bit munched on but you can see there that the, the Brussels are actually starting to form. I pulled my garlic out of here and we just put some leeks in. I did start and weed that earlier on and then I got distracted with <laughs> giving the dogs a drink. We've got some more rhubarb there and then this is my raspberry section here. Now all of my raspberries, I think they are pretty much finished now. I have had quite a few um, raspberries off there. There was quite a few left on last week, but I think the birds have finished them off, to be honest. So this all needs a good, a good clear out as well. That's where my jostaberry bush is, but that cat mint, catnip, whatever it's called, that's just gone crazy. I've got a red currant bush there in in the section there and those raspberries there I think they're pretty much finished as well I did have some golden raspberries in here as well but I haven't had any off them so there's the odd odd red raspberry here that's left so I'll pick that and Carl can have it so yeah so that is pretty much it for the plot tour I do have just a little a bit of a funny story to tell really but um so we have neighbours but like the neighbours I don't know if you can hear the dogs bark and they're like way way up the top and then we've got a neighbour the other side and um she just has horses in her field um but anyway the neighbour at the back at the top was out walking his dog and his dog wasn't on lead or whatever anyway came down here so a few weeks ago I said to Carl someone's been in someone's been in the allotment and he was like I said, I just, I can tell I leave things in a certain way. I just know someone's been in. So anyway, we never thought anything of it. And then um, we got a text. I think it must have been three weeks later. So I started leaving certain things in certain places and stuff just to see if it got moved. And we got a text and it was like, I've got a really confession to make. I'm really sorry if I've caused any damage, blah, blah, blah. The other neighbour was drunk, <laughs> had his dog for a walk. His dog obviously... Come down our path and um, he took it upon himself to come in and have a look around and he pinched an onion <laughs> so i was like so he had a confession to make and he wrote this big long speech on a text to carl telling him he's really sorry uh blah 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 he was drunk and all this and then he just randomly found the um onion in his workshop so <laughs> yeah so he pinched an onion 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look in the strawberry bed, see if there's anything that I can pick to take home, um, vice versa, and even put in for the for the hens, for the chicks and stuff. And we're going to have a pea pod picking session. And um, I don't think there's anything else to do, Carl, is there really? There's not really much going on. So I think next year we'll not be as busy with just general life. You know, we both work full time. We had the camper van conversion going on, exams for my son, prom for my son. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've had a lot going on in the past sort of few months. And we just haven't had the time um, to put into the allotment as, as we have done in the past. And I think that it is shown this year with... Um, I can't grumble because we have had a lot of fruit, but we don't have very much going on now. We've just got cabbages, onions and beans and that's it that's all i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're going to get much of the pumpkins either this year so but yeah thanks for coming along and uh we'll catch you on the next one